let's get started on the eyes. So starting off, we're going to be using this color. It's called Belly Branded from the Maybelline Color Tattoos Metal Collection. We're going to spread this all over the lid and we're going to use this as a base. Now taking Skinny Dip by NYX Matte Eyeshadow Collection, we're going to take this color and blend it into the crease. Next, you're going to take a large fluffy blending brush and just blend out all of the harsh edges so that it's nice and seamless. To add extra dimension to the crease, we're going to go in with Inmark from MAC and we're going to deepen up our crease and our outer V area. a little more we're gonna go in with Embark and Big One from MAC and we're just gonna deepen out the crease once again a little more. Next going in with the NYX Roll On Shimmer in Taupe. We're going to roll this all over the lid. Try not to get this into the crease. Even though this product is kind of hard not to get into the crease because the ball is so big. So I feel like um, maybe popping off the ball and just going in with a flat brush might help. But this product doesn't have a lot of fallout and it's a beautiful color. So yeah. So here I'm just going in with the flat headed brush just to kind of soften up the edges where the crease and this color roll on color me and to kind of pack on the color a little bit more. Now taking this NYX liquid crystal liner and crystal champagne we are going to go all over the lid with this color and just pack it on. Then taking black part from the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette we're going to intensify this look by adding this color just to the V area and kind of blending it in. Next, for highlighting my brow bone, I'm going to go in with the Magnetic Appeal from the Extra Dimension Skin Finish Collection. And this is actually a part of the new Magnetic Nude Collection from MAC that just came out. And this is a gorgeous color just to highlight. It's very subtle. And then I'm going to go back in with the blending brush and kind of blend out where the brow color meets with the crease color. And for my lashes, I'm going to be using the number 5 Cherry Blum Lashes. And I'm just going to apply these. I've already applied my wing liner so yeah it was a very very thin wing liner now moving on to the face the fun part <laughs> i'm going to be mixing two colors the 355 maybelline fit me and the c9 l'oreal true match color and i'm just going to dot this all over my face and go back in with the real techniques beauty sponge and blend it out so this is the beauty sponge that i was talking about from real techniques that i'm going to blend out with the only thing I don't really like about it is that it absorbs so much water. So when I'm squeezing it out, it's a lot of water coming out. So I don't know, it just holds on to a lot of water. And then it also has a flat side, which is really good. So this is a good job by Real Techniques. Now moving on to my highlight, I'm going to be using New Glow. And this is from Physicians Formula. And as you can see, it's like very, very, very lighter than my skin complexion. But once you blend it out, it just blends out gorgeous and it leaves a nice glow and highlight underneath the eyes. This was $13 and I got it from Rite Aid. I've always wanted to try the Physician Formula products. So this is my first product that I wanted to try out. And it has a cute little packaging. So you can't really go wrong with that, huh? Then I'm gonna go in with NYC powder and taupe and I'm just going to set my highlights in under eye area so that it doesn't crease and that I still have a nice little healthy glow. Then I'm gonna set the rest of my face using this 050 deep 
Revlon Nearly Naked Powder. I'm just gonna go back over all of the areas and just lightly dust and set my face. Then finishing off the eyes, we're gonna go back and just touch up underneath the eyes using the Crystal Champagne Liner from NYX. We're going to highlight the inner corners of our eyes. Then we're gonna go back into the Naked 3 palette and use Black Heart and smoke out the bottom lash line and just go all the way in till you meet the glitter. I'm just going to add some black liner. This one is from Milani. You can use any one that you prefer, but yeah. Now moving on to finishing off the rest of the face. We are going to contour. I'm contouring with 360 um, Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Powder. I cannot talk with the heck. Yeah, and we're just going to contour all of the areas that we naturally contour so that we look flawless in those New Year's pictures. I'm gonna take the powder brush that I used earlier and just blend out all of the harsh edges so everything looks natural. To add some extra highlight, we're gonna go in with the Magnetic Appeal once again and just highlight our cheekbones, nose, and forehead, upper lip, and chin. Now let's move on to the lips. So for the lips, I'm gonna use True Red Milani Lip Liner to line my lips and kind of fill them in. And now for my lipstick, I'm going to be using Ruby Woo from MAC and it is smashed and time for a new one. I'm just going to apply this all over my lips. And then to tie in my eyes with it, I'm going to go in with the Sugar Plum Milani Lip Liner because I have a purple feel to my eyes. Then I'm going to go in with Red Vino Milani Baked Blush. And this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoy it. I look forward to seeing you in 2014, and I hope that you made some of your dreams come true this year. And if not, I hope you work towards it. Well, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.